So we're going to look at how to calculate our solutions by using an inverse matrix. Now everything we're going to be doing is under the matrix command, which you can see right here above the x to the negative 1. So we go second matrix, and here's all our matrices. First thing we're going to do is edit. So we're going to go over to edit. First one we'll edit is A and we'll put our coefficient matrix in as A, which is a 2 by 2 matrix. So we need to give it the right size, 2 by 2. And now we'll put in our entries, 4, 5, 9, and 14. All right, we are done with A. Easiest way to get out of this is to do second quit. And then we're going to have to go and enter our column vector. So we're going to go back to matrix, and you'll see A is now a 2 by 2. So we, A is used, we're going to put it in B. So again, we go over to edit, and now we're going to put it in B. And now we just have a 2 by 1 and we can come down and put in our two entries of 3, 35 and 8, 50. Now that we have a method, we're ready to do our algebra, so we need to bring in our matrices. Now to do this properly, we have to make sure we maintain a specific order. So first thing we're going to want to do is use A inverse. So second matrix, we're going to be bringing in A, and to take its inverse, all we have to do is raise it to the negative 1. Calculator knows that that's the inverse of A. And that is going to get multiplied by B, so second matrix, B, number 2. Click Enter, and there's our solutions. The first one is X, the second one is Y.